else. So this is Hare's Hill. And I just wanted to show you kind of what we were looking at. So where those guys are down there on the um, gator is, um, well, that's kind of the top of the hill. And then I'll show you what it looks like once you get to that point here in just a second. But over here, you see our trailer and our glider is over here um, next to the hangar where they keep the tow planes. And then right here on this part of the runway, this is where they stage um, all of the gliders. So we are in a really good spot because you can um, we don't have to push we don't have to push it very far to get it to come over here um, where we can actually uh, stage it so um, but then that other patch of grass that you see there is actually in the middle there's another taxi or like taxiway on the other side over there it's a little bit um, skinnier and uh, narrower so um, that's the taxiway on that side and then there's a grass runway in the middle um, so over right about there is the taxiway and then the grass runway in the middle and then this and then this asphalt runway and then back up there so this building right here is the Harris Hill Soaring Center. That, goes, that hangar back there is, um, is that glider hangar um, that I took a picture of previously. And it's actually two story. There's actually a basement on it. And down in the basement part, because you go down, down the hill right there, between these two buildings. Um, that basement part has a bunch of trailers in it. It's it's pretty cool. That is a super sweet um, old hangar. I'll definitely have to take some more um, pictures in there. And then that hangar has the tow planes in it. And um, also has a couple of gliders that they have snuck in there. Um, back over here, that's where we've parked. This is the gorgeous area on the back side of the hill. Okay, so let's walk to the end of the asphalt. the Harris Hill Soaring Center. That building is fabulous. A couple of 126s that are... building right there is the National Soaring Museum. And it's pretty amazing to see them all side by side right out front. Especially some of these that are one of one and one of four left one of four in the U.S. <laughs> There's 
bunch of stuff like that. And that's what showed up um, to IVSM this year. And everyone has told me that IVSM was much smaller this year, uh, most likely due to the weather since it has been raining pretty much the whole time. But um, if it wasn't due to the weather, then it may have been just that um, 2020 was still making things a little hard for people um, to come out here. Uh, I know that there were a few Canadian contingents that have still been turned down and haven't been able to cross the border and come, um, come visit and be a part of this event. Um, but hopefully at the next one, we can have a few more, few more vintage gliders out here.